hi everyone. Today I thought I would do a YouTube video. It's been a long time. It's been three solid weeks. Um, but I genuinely just had nothing to say because we are in a global pandemic and I have been at home the entire time. So not much to say there, but I have been going through loads of beauty products and I thought I would do a, a classic empties video. I've got tons to go through, so without further ado, let's get involved. I'm splitting this into categories. So first category is bath. And the first thing I'll talk about are these little sachets that I've gone through. The first being just generic Epsom salts. This is by a brand called West Lab. I love using Epsom salts in my bath. It really helps with aching muscles and it's just gorgeous to put it in there. So you need to put a decent amount in the tub, let them dissolve, and then try to be in your bath for about 20 minutes. It's really, really nice. And Goop the Martini, this is their Emotional Detox Bath Soak. I love this bath soak so much. It's one of my all-time favorites. This is the really big pouch, but it also comes in a smaller version as well. Um, but I go through this stuff like it is, you know, water and I adore it. It has Himalayan pink salts, valerian root, vetiver, lots of beautiful ingredients to use. I also finished one by Verdant Alchemy. This is called Yoga On Recovery Bath Salts. And in January, I did the Yoga with Adrian Yoga Challenge, which if you don't know, is yoga every single day in January. And on the last night, I treated myself to a bath with these yoga, oh, it's Yoga Om. That would make a lot more sense. Yoga Om, not Yoga On, um, bath salts. And that was a lovely little end to the challenge. Big ups to anyone who did the Yoga with Adrian challenge um, in January. It was, it was amazing, but it was a little bit challenging mentally as well. I've also finished a Waleda Pine Reviving Bath Milk. This is a really great affordable bath product. It smells like the forest and I Love it. I, lo I just got a little bit of that on my nose, but I love anything that smells like pine or eucalyptus, so love that. Another great one is the Oskia Vitamin E Bath Oil. This is kind of like, ugh, just like the creme de la creme as far as a hydrating bath oil goes. Beautiful, I love Oskia so much, and this is one of my all-time favorite bath products. It's beautiful. Um, I've got two more bath products. As you can see, I love taking baths. I find them so healing. You all know this by now, but without my bathtub, I don't know where I'd be because I just feel like I hop in there and all my troubles just float away for at least half an hour and it is so nice. The herbivore coconut milk bath soak has been in my life for many years now and it's glorious. It's like a powder and it smells like coconut, but not like fake coconut, it smells like real coconut, and it makes your bath really milky and just like a slight foam. It's so nice. I always feel like I'm in a coconut latte when I'm in that bath with that. Last but not least, definitely not least, is the Suzanne Kaufman St. John's Wort Calming Bath. It's a powder as well, and you need to put, it says five to seven teaspoons in there with your water, you know, smoosh it all around in the water and your skin feels so silky and so smooth. When I'm feeling like a little emotionally fragile, this is the one I wanna to go to because it's just so, so calming. A product I love to use either before I get into the bathtub or you know while I'm in the shower is the Mio Heavenly Body Purifying Scrub. I love body scrubs. I think it's amazing how different you can feel after you scrub your body. Just the whole act of scrubbing is so relaxing and really paying attention to various parts of your body. You come out feeling silky and smooth, it's so nice. I really like this one by Mio. And I finished two body, well, a body cream and a body lotion. So the first is the body lotion. This is the Galane um, body milk. This is for dry and sensitive skin. I get a lot of eczema on my elbows and my arms and my knees when I'm stressed. And, you know, everybody's very stressed right now. So if you've got super sensitive skin, I would highly recommend this. It really, really helps calm my skin down. And then I also used up the Caudalie 
lift and firm body cream. This is such a nice consistency for a body cream. It's not like quite a body butter, but it's thicker than a lotion. And it said lift and firm. So I was like rubbing that all over my booty. I was like, come on booty, just get, just lift up there and firm. I don't know if it really made a huge difference to my butt, but it did make it a lot softer. So that's good. I finished a deodorant. Um, this is a tried, tested, and true deodorant for me. I love Aesop deodorant. This is their herbal deodorant. It's a roll-on, and it's like a liquid roll-on, and I love that the packaging is glass. I know that they do like a spray as well, but I personally prefer this little roll-on. I love it, and I've repurchased it many times. Hand cream. We have all been washing our hands. And this was a hand cream I used to keep in my handbag when I used to go places. So I finished that, but sadly there's no real need for like a handbag anymore because we don't leave the house. But this is a lovely hand cream. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I think the packaging is like interesting and cute and I love the scent of Glossier products. So cute little hand cream. Let's get into the biggest category of them all, which is skincare. Now, I cannot be alone when I say that I have noticed a serious, you know, situation with my face since um, this whole lockdown thing has begun because I don't know if I have more time on my hands or I am just aging a lot, but I feel like my skin really needs some TLC and obviously not getting facials and stuff like that. I'm really noticing a change. And also it's been, uh, and also it's been a really dry, like winter and super cold and spending so much time inside. I just, my skin is insane. So um, I've been really focusing on hydrating. So I guess I can start off with, hmm. so I have one like cleanser. This is the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser. This is an exfoliating cleanser. And I really like this because it's a gentle exfoliator. I typically tend to use chemical exfoliators, but sometimes I do want to scrub my face with a, with a um, like, actual scrubby product. I know that's like a little bit, you know, nobody likes to admit it, but I, I do, I really like that. So once or twice a week, I'll use something like this on my face as well as a chemical exfoliator. And I just had this in my shower. I really liked it. I also finished the MV Skin Therapy Gentle Cream Cleanser, which I've literally used since the dawn of time and I love it. It's in a really small um, package, but weirdly enough, you don't really go through it that quickly. Uh, really nice at nighttime, super hydrating, and just smells so nice. It reminds me of getting facials with Sharon, who owns this brand, and I miss those facials. I also finished the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser, another great cleanser, super moisturizing. I really like the scent of it as well, and just like an all-around great gentle cleanser. All right, I finished loads of serums, and I think serums have become just like my favorite products because without a serum, I, I don't know who I would be. It's just the product that I feel like gets in there the most, really hydrates and um, they're beautiful. Actually, before I talk about them, I should talk about my essence because essence comes before serum. So this is the Tata Harper Concentrated Brightening Essence. This is just like, I mean, zero complaints about any Tata Harper skincare. I love Tata Harper skincare, and this essence was truly a treat. I love this essence, I really do. So I used up that essence, and I also used up a Guerlain Fortifying Lotion. I'm not sure if this is more of a toner or an essence. It's kind of maybe somewhere in the middle, more towards toner probably, but very hydrating, and I love that. So put on an essence before your um, serum. And let's get into the serums. So this one from Sicily was great. I've used this many times before as well. So this is their anti-aging hydration booster. Excellent. I had this gorgeous limited edition Clay Depot, the serum. Now this is a bougie product, but look at the hologram on there. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. This actually like feels a bit like water. It's just a little thicker than water and it really, really gets in there. I, I love it. I love Clay Depot. I'm I'm such a sucker for Clay Depot beauty, not only their skincare, but their makeup as well. I love their products. I used up a little bit of this Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Bader serum. And I will say that I love the product, but I hate the packaging because 
I can't get the product out. Every time I tried to use it, I just like could not squeeze the product out. So if any of you have tried this, let me know if you felt the same because it's an expensive product, it's a great product, but I felt like the packaging was kind of annoying to use actually. This was a gorgeous serum from Pfeffer Sal, which is a, um, um, what would you call it? A, not a salon. Uh, Pfeffer Sal is a clinic. I can't really think if that's the right word. It's a place where you go for skincare treatments. This is how long it's been since I've been to get a facial. I can't even remember what the places are called. Um, spa? Salon? Nope, that's hair. Anyway, it's it's in London and I love Pfeffer Cell. They do great treatments in there and they came out with their own range of product and this serum is one of their products and it's great. It's It's amazing. Can't wait to get back in there. Oh wow, it looks like I've actually finished two of the Clay de Peau serums. So yeah, I do really like this. I mean, like I said, very expensive, but beautiful. This is actually, I should have put this in the essence category. It's a little face mist from the brand Seed to Skin, which I think is a really great brand as well. I always like brands that are trying their best to be sustainable, environmentally friendly, and with amazing ingredients. So I love that brand too. I also have this face mist from Dr. Barbara Sturm, her hydrating face mist. Again, great. I love Barbara Sturm products so, so much. I, I love, I love it. I think skincare has really become like a huge part of my life <laughs> in this lockdown and this pandemic because I'm sorry, there's very loud sounds happening upstairs because I have so much more time to spend on my skincare and I've really noticed that, you know, I need the help. So spending more time on that. Um, so I think that's it for serums. I also have this product by Sarah Chapman, which is the Platinum Stem Cell Elixir. I went to go get a facial at Sarah Chapman and Sarah Chapman facials are some of my favorite in London. I personally pay for them and book myself in and I buy gift vouchers for people all the time if it's like their birthday or whatever to get a facial there. I think they're some of the best. And I got the stem cell facial there, which I thought was amazing. So I had to get the um, elixir after it. This is a retinol product and I noticed a huge difference. I'm definitely very keen on retinol these days, I'll tell you that, because I am not getting any younger and I'm okay with that, but just wanna try to keep everything at bay. Before we get into moisturizers, I have two interesting products. They're kind of like in between a treatment and a serum and a moisturizer. So the first one is by a brand called Ven. It is their age reversing all in one concentrate. So it's basically just, like an all-in-one product. I really liked using this when I didn't feel like doing the whole like, you know, 10 step routine or whatever and didn't have much time and just kind of can use that as, you know, as and when you kind of need it. Um, so it's a little bit thicker than a serum and I really liked it. I thought it was great. I like this brand. And this product is interesting. It's by AHC and it says it's called Real Eye Cream for Face. It's concentrated eye cream for the entire face. So I just had to try that. I thought that was really, really cool. But essentially it feels like, um, you know, a light moisturizer, but I like it. I think it's great. So I would use the serum and then this and then a moisturizer. But that was when I was really going all out. And of course I finished two of these, the Augustinus Bader, whoop, the Rich Cream. And I love the Rich Cream. I know it's expensive, but I absolutely love Augustinus Bader products. I think they're awesome. I love the body products too. And I hope I never have to be without these because they are so, so nice. Especially if you've got dry skin like I do and just the packaging is super iconic as well. I finished two eye creams. The first one is by Romilly Wild, and it's their I Believe Serum. This was a really, really nice serum. I never really care about um, eye serums that have this little applicator on it because I'm never going to apply a product like that. I used to just take it and apply it with my fingers, but it's a really nice eye cream. I liked it because it was a little bit, you know, thinner but still rich, so I felt like it worked really well. And then this is the Biosance Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel. Again, another light eye cream. These are both something that I liked to use in the morning, and I really love both these brands, especially Biosance. I really love Biosance. 
Speaking of Biosance, I finished up their Squalane Plus Omega Repair Cream. This has become like one of my all time favorite skincare products ever that I've ever tried ever. And that's because of this Squalane, I think. That ingredient is so interesting to me. And it's very hydrating, just like a simple, basic moisturizer, just what you need. And, you know, great ingredients, nice glass packaging, beautiful brand. I finished two lip balms, of course, by Terry Balm de Rose. Would you expect anything less from me? It's my favorite lip balm of all time. And I ran out of it and I started freaking out because none of the stores are open, so I couldn't go get one. And luckily I found um, one in the bottom of my drawer that I had obviously saved for an emergency. So thank God for that. Um, I love it. It's a great, great lip balm. And then I finished three face masks. So. This is an exfoliating mask. It's the Oskia Renaissance Mask. It's great at resurfacing the skin, making your skin feel really smooth. One of my favorite chemical exfoliating masks. I think it's worth every single penny. I love the consistency. I love the results. It's a great product. And another exfoliating mask I finished was the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. This has a few little bits and particles in there that as you remove it, kind of exfoliate the face as well. So it's both a physical and a chemical exfoliator and it's a beautiful, beautiful mask. And then I finished two clay masks, my favorite clay masks, in fact. Um, one is the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask and I've always loved this mask. It's not drying at all. If you're somebody who has super dry skin and you don't really wanna use a clay mask, but you kinda do, this is the one to go for. And I finished the Fresh Umbrian Clay Mask. Again, just love this product for so many years now and would never want to be without it. So I love the Umbrian Clay Mask. We'll do a few hair care products before moving on to like candles and then, then that's it, okay? Then that's it. So hair things that I've used up. I absolutely love the Living Proof Shampoo and Conditioner. This is their full range. I think it's amazing. As you can see, I finished up two sets and I love it. Just makes my hair feel really clean and really hydrated without weighing it down. And I, I just love it. I can't get enough of it. And then I finally, finally, finally finished a bottle of the Mane and Tail Braid Sheen Ultimate Control Conditioning Spray, which I think was originally formulated for horses and horse hair. I don't know if that's true but I really like this product. I love using leave-in conditioner, especially because my hair gets super tangly because it's bleached and I love this. I actually have, it's, it's not in the same packaging, it's in a clear bottle, but it's the same brand and I'm using that one right now. Really love, love that product. And then a mouthwash, which maybe doesn't seem that interesting, but maybe it does, I don't know. It's this brand called Waken, and I love it because the packaging is in aluminum. Oh, we're gonna do a little ASMR. No, that was the that was the only time I was gonna do an ASMR. I don't think it's in the cards for me, but I just really liked this packaging, honestly, and the products themselves were really good. I'm actually, well, I'm using one right now. Um, and this was the aniseed mint flavor. Really liked it. Highly recommend. I finished a Glossier mascara. Love this mascara. At first, when I tried it, I was like, doesn't do anything, can't stand it. But now it's like, to me, it's like my favorite mascara. So damn it, Glossier, you got me again. You always get me. And then I finished a Diptyque Eau Pluriel, we could call it. It's a home fragrance mist and, oop, just sprayed that all over the place. I love these mists because like, I don't know how else to put this, but like if your house like smells weird or you just like cook something and it smells like shit and you just like want a quick fix. <laughs> Just like a nice mist around the flat. It smells really, really nice and quick and pretty. I also like spraying like not directly onto my clothes, but like slightly onto my clothes. I think it smells really nice. And then candles by Rado. Cotton Poplin, Bougie Parfume. I love this candle. I actually bought this as a treat for myself many, many moons ago. I love by Rado um, candles. And then a Cire Trudeau candle, I mean, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Just, I mean, outstanding candles. I love this glass um, thing. I should probably actually wash this out and save it and put a little plant or something in there. 
Um, but this is beautiful. This is, uh, I don't know what the fragrance of this is, but I'll put it in the description box. And then last but certainly not least, a brand that I absolutely love is the Santa Jardin Jaipur Chant. This smells like Indian tube rose, Moroccan jasmine, French narcisse, and Italian lemon. So fresh and beautiful and just like a glorious candle, just like all of Santa Jardin fragrances. For me, it's like 10 out of 10. So I love that. And I think that's it. That's finally it. Probably a super long video, but I thought since I haven't done a video in a long time, it would be good if I did one. And I hope you liked it. And let me know if you have tried any of these products or anything else you want me to know down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.